Alright, in this video I'm going to discuss something called the angle sum of triangles and three other polygons. Okay, so um, the angle sum idea is very important because it helps you to uh, work out more complex problems or questions later on in geometry. Okay, so the angle sum of triangles is uh, quite easy to explain really you have uh, three angles inside uh, a triangle so um, angle A plus angle B plus angle C must always add up to 180 degrees it does not matter what type of triangle it is if it has three sides it adds up to 180 degrees. So for example, if we knew that, uh, for example, angle A was um, 50 degrees, and we Okay, so if we know that angle A is 50 degrees and angle B is 70 degrees, we can work it out by saying and we don't know what C is, we can just work it out by saying that 70 degrees plus 50 degrees is 120 degrees here and since we know that all triangles all interior angles of a triangle that's this interior angle, this interior angle, and this interior angle must all add up to 180 degrees we know that if we know that A and B add up to 120 then we need to obviously add 60 to make this a true statement that um, all three angles are uh, adding up to 180 okay so that means that angle C, angle C must add up to 60 degrees another way to work out the missing angle in a triangle is since we know that uh, we have to have 180 degrees for all the interior angles which might, they must add up to 180 degrees you just subtract from 180 the angles that you know so uh, we know that our two angles that we know add up to 108, 120 degrees so we just take 180 degrees, which is what all interior angles of a triangle must add up to. Subtract the two angles that we have found out. E leaves us with 60. And so that means that angle C must equal 60 degrees. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Squares and rectangles. Okay, so... Um, this is the very important formula that you should know okay uh, for any polygon of four sides or more okay so I'll put four sides plus okay so the formula is uh, you take the number of sides of the polygon and you subtract two you take that answer and you multiply it by 180 it gives you the total amount of all the interior angles it is the angle sum of all the interior angles of your particular polygon okay so uh, the next few examples are going to be polygons and I will apply the formula and you can see how it works okay so we have here a square obviously uh, at uh, A, B, C, and D Okay, it obviously has four sides. So all we need to do is to apply the formula, we just say number of sides is four, subtract two, okay, times 180. Okay, we don't know the answer yet. Okay, so four subtract two is two times 180 equals 360. So that means that all the interior angles, A, B, C, and D, must add up to give you 360 degrees. 
Okay. Okay. In this one, we're looking at polygons, and they have five sides. I've drawn a rough polygon, or a rough pentagon here. Again, it's a polygon. All right, and we're going to apply the formula. So the first thing I have to write down is how many sides. Okay, so I have five sides. I subtract two, okay, multiplied by 180, gives me something I don't know yet. Okay, five subtract two is three, times 180, okay equals 500 down here whoops equals 540 degrees okay okay so that means that the interior angles of a b c d and e must all add up to give you 540 degrees okay Okay, so one more example of the formula. Okay, we have a hexagon. It has six sides. You've got an uh, angle A, B, C, D, E, and F. With my formula, I have six sides. Six subtract two times 180 equals, we don't know yet. Okay. So 6 subtract 2 is 4 times 180, okay, give us 720 degrees. Okay, so that means that all of the interior angles, that's interior angle A, B, C, D, E, and F, must add up to give you 720 degrees. All right. Okay, so uh, good luck with that, and uh, I hope you haven't found it too confusing. Good luck.